The Business on RTE Radio 1, sponsored by VHI Healthcare. Let our experts look after yours in our dedicated screening centres. Well, having a laugh and a joke is all part of keeping up office morale. We all like to have a chuckle with our colleagues, and these days, most of us know where the line is when it comes to making a joke. Not too personal, never sexual, and keep it light. But on this April Fool's Day, what if you are the office prankster and you keep getting it wrong? Or what if you're a manager and need to deal with complaints about jokes gone awry? Joining me now is Fiona Flynn, Director of Foresight Corporate Development. Fiona, it is April Fool's Day. There are lots and lots of them, sort of in newspapers and out online and everything. Have you seen any you thought particularly funny? Well, there's been a few, I think, that, that we saw on, on the way in, in this morning. Um, I think in terms of the the Lewis track, apparently they said the lines were too wide and that they were going to have to move it through uh, Trinity. Um, so I think that, that, that was quite interesting. Party is like, is this really true? Um, but I think in terms of pranks, it's that balance of being childlike and childish. So fun is really interesting and really important in the office environment. Uh, really important for learning, for people being creative, for morale to be up. Um, but it's that balance of of, um, making it fun that everyone is getting something from it and enjoying it if and that one person doesn't feel the you know they're being intimidated Yeah if you're going to do a prank whether it's April Fool's Day or not inevitably there is a victim in the prank so you've got to choose that person carefully because they could take it very very badly or if it's the same if they take it well but it's the same person who always being ends up being the brunt of the joke uh, yeah and I think that's a critical thing in business I, I think a lot of it is to do with awareness and, and as a manager of the person to be very aware of, of that person and, and their style and their personality and have they instigated some some fun or some pranks so they're likely to take things very well but I think if you're operating out of awareness and you're trying and, and again it's to do with intention if the intention the intention is to have a laugh and make it enjoyable for everybody. That's one thing. If the intention is to, to do it in nearly a bullying scenario um, or that there's a, there's a personal impact on people, um, obviously that's not what you want to achieve. In this PC world, political correct world we live in, is there not a sense in which if you overthink it, it'll have no spontaneity and it won't really be very funny or a prank at all? Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. And I think it's around tapping into that spontaneity or even diffusing a situation where you make you make light of something or you poke fun at yourself. That's a really good way of, you know, as a leader um, to, to even build trust and to build uh, um, that sense of people coming towards you. If you can poke fun at yourself and you become that person, um, that can be a really interesting technique to do in, in your team dynamic. humour? Office humour, you know? People telling jokes that just aren't appropriate, don't go down well. No, I think I think you know there's there's some standards around that, and I think again that's to do with awareness. If if the intention to do it is to really damage people or to hurt people or to make fun of people, that's going to have a really damaging effect, not just on morale, but it can have much longer term implications for people personally. So it's about again the awareness piece, using your emotional intelligence, being very aware of the intention why you're doing it, not overthinking it, but but judging your people, judging yourself, c- creating that that positive happy atmosphere. Um, and, and, you know, using it from that point of view, you can still be really spontaneous and have really good fun in doing that. Yeah, I mean, but it does sound as if, you know, you do have to overthink it. And also, if people think it through, um, they, they won't take a risk. So what they'll do then is they just won't do it at all. And a lot of people are in jobs, whether they're professional jobs in offices or outdoors or whatever they're doing, they're incredibly mundane. And yes. they need a laugh they just do. to get through the day. They do. They do. And again, I think it's about a continuum of, of, of fun. So what is that sense of fun, that sense of spontaneity? And that can be things like CSR activity. So doing something as a team together. Um, like the several charity events throughout the year. Cycle Against Suicide is kicking off now where people can have fun doing something for charity. They can, you know, go out and climb the sugar loaf. So is that what can you do to, to create that energy in, in, in a team and um, have a bit of fun? But, but make sure it's fun for everybody. You know, it's the regard, having regard for yourself, regard for other people and just making it light but fun. And of course, we haven't even got into the phenomenon of where it's the boss is the one who's causing all the problems, such as the David Brent in the office scenario. But that's for a whole other discussion. I'm afraid that we'll have to leave it there. Fiona Flynn, Director of Foresight Corporate Development. Thanks very much for joining us on the programme.